Hi, I'm Jens from LD Systems and I'm happy to introduce you to Dave 10 G4X. So what is Dave 10 G4X? It's a powerful, compact and easy to use 2.1 sound system that's for home use, like gaming for instance, small live music events, parties and DJing. It's a hybrid between a sound system and a PA system that we designed for sound addicts that really love good sound. The Dave series has been our top seller ever since. And now we completely redesigned the series and added cool new features like the poorly rear coating to protect the system in a better way. The systems got lighter. We added an integrated mixer and we also redesigned the acoustic design and added a sophisticated hi-fi sound to the system. So let's take a closer look at the acoustic design of the system. Here we opened up a satellite so you can actually see what's inside. There are two 4-inch low mid-range drivers in a specially designed waveguide and they are arranged in a Dapolito design. So that means that the high frequency unit is in between in the middle of the two mid-range drivers. And also the high frequency unit, which is a soft dome tweeter, is within a specially designed waveguide. So this whole acoustic design enables us to control the vertical dispersion and the horizontal dispersion in a better way. And this is actually useful to reduce reflections of walls, ceiling and the floor or even your studio table. So let's take a look at the setup of the system. The name Dave 10 G4X comes from the 10 inch woofer that's inside the subwoofer. The subwoofer also contains the amplification of the subwoofer itself and the amplification of the satellites. We made the subwoofer more powerful and we redesigned the bass reflex ports to reduce airflow noises. Also, the mixer is built into the subwoofer that we will look at later. You can position the satellites on individual loudspeaker stands and also on a distance bar on top of a sub. They are also suitable for tabletop use without a stand and we also offer T-bars to put two satellites close to each other on a loudspeaker stand. If you don't have a loudspeaker stand, you can also use a Gravity Touring microphone stand like we did here to mount the satellite. The connection from the subwoofer to the satellites should be made using Speakon cables. The system can be used without the need of an external mixing desk, just by using the integrated mixer. This mixer offers six inputs, Channel one and two are for mono sources, like line sources, like the output of a mono keyboard, for instance, for microphones or for instruments, like electric guitars or electric bass. When you connect a microphone, you should use an XLR cable and connect it to the XLR input. Be aware to switch to the microphone input by holding this button. If you connect an electric bass or an electric guitar, use the jack input and switch to the high z input. This is especially for high impedance signals like pickup signals of electric basses or electric guitars. Those mono sources can be tweaked using the two band EQ, high shelving EQ, low shelving EQ. And the cool feature is that you are able to add reverb just by turning this button. Right now the reverb is switched off, but you can turn it on. We have a small room, a large hall, and a plate reverb. The amount of reverb can be changed by turning the button. Let's have a listen to the three different reverb algorithms. Channel 3 and 4 are for stereo connections, for instance the output of a stereo mixer or the output of a stereo e-drum kit for instance. The level can be adjusted just by turning this knob 
and you should use either the XLR connections for a high quality connection or you can use the RCA inputs. Channel 5 and 6 are meant for digital stereo connections and you can either use a paired Bluetooth device, right now we did that, or you could switch to the SPDIF input, which is an input for high quality digital connections. The controls up here are the main controls to control the subwoofer level. The high frequency control is a high shelf that you can use to tweak the high frequencies of the satellites. And the main control controls the level of the whole system. Talking about the LEDs up here, the power LED is obviously telling you if this unit is switched on or not. The next LED signal is telling you if there is an input signal present. The limit LED is telling you whether you have headroom or if the system is already at its end. So if the limit LED is flashing once in a while, you're perfectly fine. If the limit LED is permanently on, you should reduce your main level because you're overloading your system. The last LED named Protect is flashing up when you turn on the system. This is perfectly normal and is telling you that the soft start function is protecting the speakers from cracking noises. This Protect LED also will light up if you have a wrong connection at the output of the amp or if the system is overheated. The whole Dave series has been designed to be used in a stereo setup with a left and a right satellite, but you can also use it in a mono setup like we did here. If you place two satellites closely together, you get interference in the horizontal plane. So to address that problem, we included the cluster mode feature, which actually retains some stereo information in the signal, but greatly reduces those phasing issues in the horizontal plane. Down here in the mode section, you are able to switch between the normal stereo mode with the left-right satellite to the new feature cluster mode. Please be aware, if you use the cluster mode in a mono setup like here, you should use the stereo input on the sub to get the stereo information. If you use one Dave G4X on the left side, with two satellites and the other one on the right side, you should use the mono input on the subwoofer. Please also be aware if you use the second scenario with one Dave G4X like this on the left side of the stage and one on the right side of the stage, you should cross the speak on cables on one side of the stack so you get a symmetrical sound from both sides. So no matter where you use the system, at home, for gaming, or at a party. You will get a well-balanced sound with better control and much more power compared to conventional hi-fi speakers. Thank you for your attention and enjoy the Dave 10 G4X series.